Hi, I'm Jeanette McIntosh. I'm a member of the Athol Lions Club and the Athol River Rat Race Committee. I am the chair this year. I took over chair in January upon the passing of Lion David Flint in December of last year. So I have been a scorekeeper, the lead scorekeeper for this race for 28 years and then we took a couple years off and we're back the club came to me because I knew mostly what was going on for all of the operations of the race and asked me to be chair. And we're going to have a canoe race today and we have 190 boats at this point already registered and when the cannon fires at one o'clock everybody will take off from Orange and then there'll be five miles down the river, the mighty Miller's River to Orange, where they will go under, go under the finish line behind the, uh, the Orange Fire Department. And there'll be scorekeepers there that will record the classes as they come by, not only just the top winners. We try to catch all the canoes that come by because sometimes it's just bragging rights between neighbors as to who beat who down the river. So we will do that and we will get that posted, the finish and final information on our official Facebook page, the Athol to Orange River Rat Race. We hope all the paddlers stay safe. We've got plenty of water as it is raining again today here on race day. We have plenty of water for the paddlers to go downstream and we are just excited that we can do this. There was a beautiful parade this morning, albeit a little damp too. And we were happy to see the folks in the North Quabbin region out and about to be able to enjoy the River Rat Race, the annual Rite of Spring in this area again. We saw the runners take off. And the poor folks, just as they took off, of course, the skies opened up. So they were a little bit of soggy rats running the 5K Big Cheese Road Race today. But they were all smiling as they were headed out because it was fun to be able to do this again. We saw lots of folks going to the Mason's Breakfast. And we heard that there was a good crowd at the Chuck Stone Little League Spaghetti Supper last night and the carnival was still running. In between the showers, you can go and ride at the carnival in the Lord Pond Plaza. And then this afternoon at five o'clock, we will have an award ceremony in Orange that will present the trophies and the prize money to those who have come in in the money during the race. So we are having a full day here in Athol in Orange, and we hope you had a good time. So, you said how the recent events have been so good on that race the past few years. How, what precautions have they taken this year to make sure that it's safe and healthy? Well, one of the things that we are very grateful for is that the area COVID numbers were very low. They were down around 5%. So, we were able to have our drawing last night inside the town hall. We had made originally provisions to have it out at Silver Lake Park in the pavilion because we didn't want to be a super spreader. Back when we made that decision in January, the numbers were running around 27 to 28 percent in the communities. So now we are running about five, so we are doing it a lot easier because it's safer. We thank the folks in the region that have gotten their vaccines and we're glad that people are taking good care of themselves. Masks were optional last night. If you didn't feel comfortable, you could wear a mask inside. And today everything is outside, so we should be fine out here in the nice fresh air. Perfect, thank you very much. Thank you.
I'm expecting to have a nice paddle down a beautiful looking river. That's a good plan. That's a good plan. Yeah. <laughs> Nice easy cruise, I hope. Hope I'm not too competitive. <laughs> uh, do you think the uh, weather will cooperate or? I think we're going to get wet. I think <laughs> we're going to get wet. That is a good prediction. Yep. But uh, we'll, we'll work that off with a little sweat, right? Right. right. Thank you very much. You're welcome. and get ready for the national anthem sung by dawn. Oh, you're so 